Thank you for inviting me to participate in your forum. I wish I could be there in person to take part in the discussions you'll have over the next few days. If we were building a financial system from scratch today, we'd do it on a digital platform. Digital can lower the cost of a range of transactions by as much as 90%, providing nearly universal access to innovative financial products and services. Unfortunately, we don't have that luxury of starting from scratch. So we have to show not only the vision to plan for this better digital future, but also the wisdom to manage a secure transition from the current system. It's a big responsibility, but with more than 2.5 billion people not able to get at formal financial services, the opportunity compels us to do it. Poor people do have assets their intellect, their labor, their savings. The problem is that they don't have financial tools to capitalize on these resources. They're trapped in an inefficient cash economy that robs them of opportunities to insure themselves against risk, invest in their productivity, and ultimately to help lift them out of poverty. Innovations like vaccines and high-yielding crops have changed the future for billions of people. You're on the cusp of another breakthrough innovation, including the poorest in a financial system that increases instead of limiting the value of their assets. Transforming the underlying economics of financial services through digital currency will help those who live in poverty directly. It will also support a host of other development activities, including health and agriculture. I see two priorities for the immediate future. First, we need to drive the policy changes to make sure the poor can get engaged at this level. And second, we need a measurement system that tracks the progress towards drawing people in, not just to have accounts, but to really benefit from financial activity.